Hi everybody, I'm Judith Aagerlinde, publisher at World Editions, and this is Marise Condé, the most important author from the Caribbean, recently awarded the New Academy Prize for her entire oeuvre, and um, the New Academy Prize is also known as the Alternative Nobel Prize, very prestigious. And uh, yeah, her, her latest book that we just translated is called Waiting for the Waters to Rise. It's uh, set in, it, it starts out in Guadeloupe, the, the island that Marise herself is also uh, originally from. And uh, Guadeloupe is an island in the same group of islands as Cuba and the Dominican Republic. Um, but it's originally, it's a French, it's still a French department actually. So Marise Condé wrote this book in, in French. And the, the story starts out in Guadeloupe, um, but like Marise herself, uh, people never stay in one place in uh, in her books. They, there's a lot of traveling done. And in this book, it's Babacar, the protagonist. He's a doctor. Uh, his father was from Mali and his mother from the Caribbean. And he um, one day he's called upon uh, when a young woman from Haiti, a refugee, gives birth. And when he arrives, the, the woman... Um, unfortunately already died and the child but the child is still alive and he decides to adopt the child and to take her with him to Haiti in search of family members of uh, Aeneas the, the, the name of the girl so he goes there and uh, meets a lot of people hears a lot of life stories and that's one of the strong strong points of uh, Marisa's work there's always many many stories in it but you never get bored to get new people get to know new people and hear these new stories because she's just a, the most marvelous storyteller so he uh, they go in search of their fam of, of the family of this this little girl um, and um, while searching he befriends two other men um, who are also exiles like himself and um, they're bound together by their search for their identities and um, well Haiti um, is of course uh, it's an island with a lot of um, problems a lot of violence and natural disasters but also corruption and, 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 and rebellion um, so that's more or less the setting of this book and I'm not gonna uh, go into detail because you should read it yourself um, it's a wonderful book and Marisa Condé is the most wonderful author she uh, still writes uh, she is 84 she is almost blind um, she's got health problems but uh, she says if I stop writing I die so fortunately she continues writing and I'm really happy to be uh, publishing her and I hope you enjoy reading her work as much as I uh, enjoyed publishing this beautiful book. Thank you very much.